guys! My name is Gail, I'm part of the toddler ministry team at St Mark's Church and I'm so glad you've come to join me today. If this is your first time at Toddler Praise, then we're going to be sharing some Bible stories together. We're going to be uh, looking at some crafts, we're going to be playing some games, we're going to be suggesting some songs and things that you can do at home with your family. And if there's some Toddler Praise sessions that you've missed, then you can catch up with those on the St Mark's Church Facebook group or on our St Mark's Church YouTube channel. So welcome to Toddler Praise. We're going to start off with a prayer. And can you help me with the big loud Amen at the end? Thank you, Jesus, for being our friend. Thank you for being with us here. Help us to learn more about you through the Bible today. Amen. Were you nice and loud? Well done, everybody. So last time we had toddler praise, it was after Easter, we'd finished all our Easter eggs and we were learning what happened next with Jesus. Let me show you the puppets that I have. So I've got a puppet of Jesus and I've got some puppets of his friends. Now after Easter, when Jesus had died and he'd come back to life, they were so excited, weren't they? His friends were so pleased that he was there with them, they ate together, they hung out together, and they were enjoying being in Jesus' company, just like we can. So what happened next? Now, you can find out more about this story if you've got a Bible at home. I've got one here, you might have a Bible like this at home, and you can look to see what happens next in the story. Or we'll put some clips so that you can look on YouTube and watch some of the story too. So here's what happened next. Jesus went with his friends up to a special place and he told them that he was going away to heaven. He told them four things. Can you count to four? One, two, three, four. I think I can count to four. He told them four things. He was going to heaven to prepare a place for them. He would always be with them, just like he's always with us. He told them that they should tell people all about the love of Jesus. That's number three. And number four, he told them to go to Jerusalem and wait for his Holy Spirit. So he had an important message for them. And they were waiting with him and talking with him. And then do you know what happened? Jesus went up to heaven. As they were watching, he went up into the sky. And then, as they were watching, a cloud up in the sky covered him and they couldn't see him anymore. Jesus had gone. He had ascended into heaven. We call that a big word in church. That's called ascension. It means he went up to heaven. His friends, do you think they were surprised? Have you got a surprised face? <gasps> they were watching and waiting to see what would happen next. And do you know who appeared? If you look in your Bible, you might read the story. There were two angels that appeared and said, don't look here for Jesus, he is gone. One day he will come back. So what do you think his friends did? After they'd heard that story, after they'd seen Jesus ascend into heaven, they remembered the four things that Jesus had said. So they went to Jerusalem to wait for something special. We're going to find out next time at Toddler Praise what happened next in the story. Thanks for sharing the story with me. Let me put my puppets down. Now there's somebody here who's always got a special message for us. If you've never been to Toddler Praise before, then let me introduce you to Mr Bible. Hello Mr Bible. Now he is not very good at hearing, so you really have to shout loud whenever you see Mr Bible. Hello boys and girls. Hello, Mr. Bible. Now let's see what his special message is today. Jesus is always with me. He is my friend. Okay, we'll shout that bit. He is my friend. I think they're very loud at home. Are you ready? Jesus is always with me. He is my friend. Oh, one more time, they can definitely do it louder. Jesus is always with me. He is my friend. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bible, for reminding us that Jesus is our friend. We'll see you next time. Say goodbye to Mr. Bible. Bye, Mr. Bible.
Oh, we're going to remember that Jesus is always our friend. Now, let's see. I usually have another friend that helps me at Toddler Praise. But I can't see him today. He's big, he's fluffy, and his name's Fred. But where could he be today? Where is Fred Bear? Have you seen him? Have you seen Fred Bear anywhere? What? But I can't see him. He's not there. Are you sure? Let me see if you're right. You think that Fred Bear might be hiding? I think you were right. Fred Bear was hiding. Even though I couldn't see him, he was there all along. I'm going to cover him up again. Are you ready? Can you see him? <laughs> there he is. It's like a game of peekaboo or a game of hide and seek. Fred Bear is here with us. So even though we couldn't see him, we know that he's there. It's a bit like Jesus, isn't it? In that story, Jesus went up to heaven and he couldn't be seen anymore. Jesus is with his Father in heaven and we can't often see him, but he is always with us. Sometimes we can't see things, but we know that they're there and Jesus is our friend and he's always with us. I've got a game that helps with that too. Let's see if you can help me with my game. It involves a feely bag. Let's see. Here's my special bag. Now, we can't see what's inside it, but you can help me guess. I'll give you some clues. I've put my hand in. You can play this at home with a pillowcase. If you put something in the bag and then you could find someone to play with and they have to feel it and guess what it is. Okay, are you ready for the first clues? Let me see. Okay, I found something. It's hard. I think it's made of plastic. It's a rectangle shape, but it's got pointy bobbly bits on the end. I think I know what it is. I think it's something colourful, and I think it's something you use for building. You might have some of these at home. Can you guess? Let's see if you're right. Did you guess a Lego or a Duplo block? Then you were right. Well done. What else is in my feely bag? Let's see. Mm, let's see. Oh, I found something. It's not very big, it's smooth, and I think it's made of metal. It's got a long handle, and you might have used one of these to eat your breakfast this morning. What is it? Did you guess? Did you say it's a spoon? It's shiny and metal, and it feels different. This is a good game for seeing how things feel, isn't it? Okay, I've got two things left. Mm. Oh, this is something soft. It's still quite small. Mm, it's got four things that stick out, but it's very soft and cuddly. And you might have one of these in your bed. Do you know what it is? Oh, it was a teddy bear. Hey, look, Fred Bear, a little mini bear. <laughs> a nice soft teddy bear. That feels different from a spoon, doesn't it? Last thing in my bag. See if you can guess this one. Oh, this one feels very funny. It's pokey on the top and it's got a long handle. Oh, I think I can guess. You might use this in the morning to get the, cat, the tangles out of your hair. It's a hairbrush. Well done if you guessed a hairbrush, everybody. Are you enjoying that game? Were you good at it? Well done to everyone that was good at that game. Something else that we like to do at Toddler Praise is do crafts together. We like to do sticking and painting and all sorts of messy things. I'm sure you like to do crafts together. Now I found this one. See if you'd like to make one of these. What you're going to need is a piece of cardboard or paper and you have to cut it out to look like a cloud. Now I found some cotton wool at home to make it look very fluffy. And then I wrote a lovely message in the inside to remind me that God is love. But you might want to write something about Jesus on your cloud, something to remind you that Jesus is your friend. But then hanging from my cloud are some lovely hearts. And I've written the names of people that I love and I care about on my hearts and the people that I want God to love and show his love. And those people need God's love. So you can hang those on string, take them on the back, and then you can put that on your wall as a reminder to pray for those people. 
So enjoy doing your crafts at home and making your clouds. We'd love to hear how you get on with your craft projects. I'll put that down here. So let's see, what has Fred Bear got on the table today? I've noticed that Fred Bear has bought his phone. I bet there's some people that you've been calling on the phone recently, or maybe you've been on your laptop or your iPad, maybe you've been doing Zoom, or you've been on uh, FaceTime with people. There's lots of people that we can't see all the time, aren't there? Just like in our story, the friends couldn't see Jesus. There are lots of people that we like to talk to and we can't see them face to face. We can't give them hugs, we can't sit and chat with them, but we can still communicate with them. Hasn't it been wonderful to communicate with people? Maybe you like to talk to your grandma or your cousins or people who are far away. Even people in other countries, we can still communicate with them. Isn't it great? It's just like that with God, isn't it? But guess what? You don't have to pick up a phone to talk to God. You can chat with God wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whenever you want. And God is waiting because he loves to chat with you. He loves to hear from you. He loves to chat back. We call that catching. So we can chat to God and then we can catch back what God is saying to us. Sometimes we have to learn how to catch back what God is saying to us. It might be through dreams or pictures, through our feelings, through things that we hear or read in the Bible. There are lots of ways that God talks to us just as we can chat with him. That's what prayer is all about. Isn't it great to have a friend that you can chat to whenever you want? We're going to do a bit of chatting to God now. So have a think about some of those people that you haven't been able to see lately that you want to tell God about, that you want to thank God for them and ask God to bless them. We're just gonna whisper them to God. Nobody else needs to hear, because God can hear. So who are those people that you are so thankful for that you love? Let's tell God. Well done. Let's pray, and can you help me with the big loud amen at the end? Thank you, God, that you love us so much. Thank you that you are always with us and that you are our friend. Please help us to learn how we can catch what you are saying to us. And please bless those people that we love that we don't get to see very much. Amen. Well, thank you so much for coming and joining me at Toddler Praise today. I hope you had a fun time. And we can't wait to see you again. We're going to find out what happened next in the story. Now, if you love to sing songs, especially songs with actions, then we'll put some songs on our Facebook group so you can enjoy singing along with your family at home. Bye for now.